So, about to take on the old e fuel kit here from Mark. Be time to start pulling all this mess apart, get everything out of the way. We have everything uh, plugged up here. The fuel bowl is out. Both of the banjo lines are loose at the back of the head, so that's ready to come out. I'm gonna go ahead and take the those two 10 millimeter or 3 8 bolts out of that pump, bump over the the crank, pop it up out of there, and I guess. <clears throat> clean around that area, knock the freeze plug in there, and move on. The infamous fuel bowl. It's been rebuilt about three times. Get just the thing. All right. The pump has power. We got it all together. It was pretty easy. This part of it was. Honestly, the only really tedious part or was tightening up those uh, U bolts. It's time consuming. That started. Put a hitch on. Stubby's first start up with a Fuzoto built E fuel system. You're running to it. Check this shit out. What's up, YouTube? Smitty here. Sorry for the shaky camera. I'm driving down the road and I'm trying to find a way to uh, get rid of some of that. Okay, so this is the Fugazoto build e fuel conversion kit review for the 73 power stroke BOBS 73. First off, I'd like to say the installation was super easy and the overall outcome of the kit itself was just, couldn't be happier with it. You couldn't ask for anything more. This kit, I mean, everything as far as the price of it, the simplicity of it, the overall performance of it, everything about it is fantastic. And I would prefer this kit over any of them available on the market right now online. And this kit is built by a man named Mark, great guy. Knows what he's talking about and he's happy to help you with any questions or concerns or that you may have. And he builds these things himself. So he's a one-man show, and, but the majority from, from what I understand, you really don't ever have to wait on a kit. He has them wide, I mean, he has them already made up and ready to go. So there is no wait time for it. Shipping was super fast, comes out of Virginia, and like I said, I couldn't be more happy with it. This thing, I mean, the price compared to the other kits, on the market, like I said, way better. The simplicity of it, you don't have a messy engine bay. You don't have to run a bunch of wires everywhere, you know, for an aftermarket regulator. Because this kit uses the stock regulator. Basically, the only thing you need to complete this kit, I mean, it comes with everything right out of the box. The only thing that you're going to need is a little bit of wire, 
getting a brass plug off of your old fuel bowl. After you get that off of your old fuel bowl, throw it in the trash. You don't need it no more. I mean, the kit itself is idiot proof. Comes, like I said, comes with everything that you need. Brand new fuel lines from that replace the banjo lines, rubber lines, compression fittings, everything. And the majority of it already comes assembled. The filtration unit has a water separator and then your actual fuel filter itself. And that unit also has the electric fuel pump mounted in it. And it is a Bosch pump. So it comes already assembled. The only thing you have to do to that unit is tighten up the filters whenever you're done. I mean, the only real labor that it takes to do this is getting all of your old fuel parts or fuel system parts off. After that, it's downhill from there. The fuel block that it comes with bolts down in your old, the existing holes for your um, fuel bowl. That's where it fastens down. It comes with a freeze plug to plug the hole that your mechanical fuel pump was once in. I mean, it comes with everything. It comes with the relay. Even comes with a new regulator from International. So we've covered the price and the simplicity. I'm not going to disclose the price. Like I said, if you're interested, you can get a hold of Mark on his through his YouTube channel on his About tab. Now the performance of this truck, I haven't been able to get a test drive in. I mean, I'm driving it right now, but the overall performance, the truck no longer falls on its face off the line. It has fuel pressure. I mean, it's night and day difference. The turbo spools faster. You have more, more bottom end, honestly, because like I said, it doesn't fall on its face and you have even more top end. It's like, you could tell that the motor was starved, for, excuse me, starved for fuel from the get go. So couldn't be happier with this kit, highly recommend it. And um, if anyone can't get a hold of um, Mark or find the info, I might be able to help you out with that, but he makes a badass kit, and that's all it comes down to. So that's pretty much all I have to say. I'm gonna do a little bit of a walk, walk through or a walk around of the kit itself, what the engine bay looks like, what it looks like down on the frame rail, basically the steps I took to complete the kit itself. So, and I'm also gonna do a test drive video. So y'all enjoy those two videos, and thanks for watching.